Hey everyone. In our last video, we went through the first step of starting our new Expression Engine website, the installation process. We took a little tour around and we got a working site. And by working, I mean a completely blank template with nothing in there. So today, we're going to start creating a channel. We're gonna work on uh, creating our field group that will house our page channel, creating our actual fields for our subtitle and uh, our rich text content that we're gonna be doing, and then creating our very first homepage. Very, very basic um, homepage that we'll be working on, but we're gonna walk all the way through that. So with that said, let's build. So one of the first things that we'll notice out of the box with Expression Engine is that an EE is a true content management system. It is not a page builder like some other um, CMSs on the market or some other apps that may be out there where you can you know, kind of drag and drop and just throw a text box on a page arbitrarily. It's meant to house your content in a way that will be manageable and reproducible across the entire site. So when we take a look at actually creating a channel, we're going to say, that this channel will have this defined content in each page that is designed in that channel. So with that, will come the creation of our field groups and our fields that specifically define that content. So we're here on our dashboard of our new EE site, and we're gonna head to the developer menu. That is where all of the magic takes place. And the first thing we do before we actually define that channel will be to define the fields we want in that channel. So I'm gonna to head to fields, but let's actually take a look at our notes. So today we're gonna to create a channel called page, um, which will house our home page as well as some other pages that we'll be creating throughout this. Uh, the one thing you'll notice here, and this is just my notes that will be in the repository so you can take a look here but uh, we're gonna title the channel page. And you notice here I put in parentheses lowercase page. This is because Expression Engine creates a short name which is all lowercase and uh, usually has underscores in there that will define that channel that we use in our templates. The same will take place for all of the fields that we'll create. So our page channel is going to have three fields out of the box. First is our title field. We're not gonna create that one because Expression Engine automatically takes care of creating that. But we are gonna create a subtitle field which will just be plain text, and then a page content field which will use EE's rich uh, text editor field type. So that's in there. Let's actually do that right now. So we have our subtitle and our page content fields. So I'm here on the field section in our developer menu, developer fields. And you can see we have no field groups created at this point. Let's actually do that now. So I'm gonna go to create a new field group and I'm going to call this page group so that we know that it goes along with the channel. And then I'm going to take care of creating these new fields here. So we click the add new button an expression engine out of the box gives you a ton of field types that you can choose from. Check boxes, color picker, um, you can add a time duration, fluid fields, which is a whole lesson in itself, relationships, um, toggles, all sorts of things. For our purposes here, we're gonna start with our, our basic text input and we're gonna title it subtitle. And you can see that as we type, it automatically creates the short name here. If we wanted to edit that short name, we could, but we're just gonna leave that there. The other great thing about Expression Engine is that every field that we create has its own associated settings as well. So we can make it required, we can include it in search, which we wanna do for a subtitle. Uh, we can also set some min and max for this kind of field. Um, but for right now, we're just gonna make it real basic and include in search. Now, uh, our field's all set, so I can go up here and click save, but we're gonna add another. So I'm gonna click on this drop down and do save and new. And it'll tell me that our subtitle field has been created and let's create our actual page content field. So I'm going to find our rich text editor 
and we're going to call this page content. And we're going to make this one required uh, because a page without content would be pretty boring. And we're going to leave our editor nice and basic. And that's it. Let's hit save. And now we can see that our field group, our new page group, has two fields, our subtitle and page content fields. And then I hit save up here. And we have our very first field group. So now that we have that created, let's go over to our developer menu. And we're gonna click channels. And this is where we'll actually create our page channel. So the channel setup has a number of different settings that you can do, but we're gonna walk through the most basic setup that we can do today. So here's our new channel form. We're going to call this page. Nice and easy. If we wanted to set a maximum number of entries uh, that we could have, we could do that here, but we're going to leave that blank so we can have unlimited pages on our site. And then we can set up fields. So like I said before, the title field automatically is created by Expression Engine. Um, if we wanted to change what that was called in the UI here as we're creating that, we could do that here. We're going to leave that the way it is. And you can also uh, add in your channel the different field groups that you've created. You can also bring in individual fields um, if you wanted to uh, just have one set aside field for a specific channel, you could do that. Since all of our fields are in our page group that we need, we're going to add that right here. At the most basic, this would be all that we would need here. Um, but let's just take a quick tour around what else we can do in a channel. We can add uh, category groups. So we'll see that more once we start building out our blog. But for our pages, we don't need that necessarily. Where we add different categories, that kind of thing. We can add different statuses so that if we wanted to say that we wanted to create a draft status so that work needed to get approved in our workflow, we could do that. Um, EE out of the box creates an open and closed status for every, uh, every channel that you create. And that way too, when we're working in our template code, we can say we only want to pull in the open ones because we don't want to display closed, uh, closed content. So we can do that. And then a number, number of different settings that you can explore here as well. Um, different search excerpts. Uh, member access, that kind of thing. Enable author notifications so that an author can get notified um, when someone comments on it. Different comment settings. We're actually going to turn off comments for our pages because we don't necessarily need that. And then finally is our actual member setup. So if you wanted to limit your channel to only be edited by certain members or member groups in your app, you'd be able to do that here. But for right now, we're just gonna hit save and we have our very first channel. So let's go over to entries here. You can see that our channel, uh, our page channel has been added here. So if I click on that, I can view all of our content, which we have none at this point. So what I'm gonna do is, let's actually go ahead and create our page channel. So I can do that either here in the nav by clicking the plus or by going up here to say new and page. And then let's do it. So we'll call this home page. Welcome to our site. And then this is a what you see is what you get or WYSIWYG editor. So I can say, you know, site is created with expression engine. It's awesome. And then I can go through and use the WYSIWYG controls to say, make this bold, make this italic. Let's also, we can add a link here by selecting it, clicking on the link. And I don't want to get the address wrong. So let's just copy that. There we are. And we can say, open that in a new tab. There we go. And I hit save. And we have successfully created our first piece of content. So if I go back to our Expression Engine site on the front end, we have nothing still 
because we haven't told the template editor how to actually create it on the front end. So what we will do in our next video is actually start working with templating and creating our very first template so we can see our homepage in action. So we'll see you in the next one.